Okay, so it's just a quick update for today. I didn't do much in uh, yesterday, it was being Saturday, so I did about a half a day on it. I uh, cut out more of the floor pan around all the surfaces that are going to get reused, around the transition pan, the rear frame rails, um, the floor supports, which I have to change out so now they're open to where I can see them. And I was able to see where in the floor supports in the uh, tow board area what needs to be patched. There's some pinholes that were uncovered there, which I'll show you. Uh, so let's take a look at the inside of the car and see exactly what, where we're at with it and what I uncovered. So looking up in the car, you can see all the old floor pan that I got removed from the entire way around. So all the pans gone, I ground down all the spot welds that were originally there, which you can see. Um, so I got to clean up the metal the whole way around yet to prep all that area for the new floor pan to go in. And let me crawl inside, take a look. You can see the tow board area on this side. Um, I kind of took my wire wheel and cleaned up along there just to find where it was clean. You could see the amount of pitting going on from that line that I did down. Um, the pinhole starting to go through there. Um, this Basically, there's a space. There's a little bit of a space in between there. The torque box is right behind that. And that space in between, it just creates room for that rust to grow. So they, they commonly rot out there. Um, so I'm gonna replace this side from that line. I gotta cut that out. Um, I'll patch that first. And then this driver's side, you can see it's a little strange. It, it went high on the inside, which is not as common. Usually they're rotted out more the whole way up on uh, the side where the rocker is. Um, but you can see the pinholes going up there, so I've cleaned the line going across there. So I'll cut that tow board out there, patch that in place, but you can see it's just pitted and rusted along that whole bottom lip there. So we'll cut that out, get that spot changed out. Um, cross member is in good shape. Uh, the top of the floor supports, which is they want you to keep the top rails of the floor support on both sides um, and With that front suspension kit. I'll basically be cutting The whole floor support out the whole way up for the most part up there. They want you to join it differently, but from the transmission mount there back You're cutting it out welding the new floor support in button up against that upper flap that's going to get mounted to the floor pan um, which the, the floor supports the original ones are actually in really nice shape there's no rust in it the whole way up um, which is strange so it's pretty clean um, compared to the stuff that you've seen me do but uh, I got to clean up all that metal and where the seat platforms go floor pan the whole way around um, and just prep all that metal for the new floor pan to go in which you can see it ties into pretty much everything um, but it gets rid of all the problems that this floor pan had um, also it helps out with cleanup on the bottom side it's going to be a new pan so the whole entire side is clean on the bottom so there's nothing that you have to wire wheel down or clean up on the bottom side before you would paint or undercoat it, so it, make it makes it real clean in the back. On the underside, um, the only things that I have to clean up on the underside is the transition panel. Um, the trunk floors are gonna get changed, trunk brace is getting changed, so those will be clean coming out. So once I take out um, the, both trunk floors, we will clean the frame rail because it'll be exposed, so we'll be able to clean it easy with the wheel um, hit primer. Um, one thing that I do is I paint the inside of the rails when they're exposed like that. So everything gets coated really nicely before I cover it back up. Um, inner wheel houses are really nice. They don't even need any patches on the front side. Both of them are in the same shape. So that's good. 
Um, but yeah, pretty much just need to clean up a couple things um, to prep for that floor pan. I got to change out the floor supports and I got to do both tow boards there, that little bit that I showed. Um, and then the floor pan would be able to go in. So, which I, sh I showed before, these are the, the new, basically the floor supports that they want you to use. Um, you can see this is the end that meets up to the bottom of the rails of the new kit that I welded in there and they go in that slot that you can see. Um, they, they, you cut out that whole bottom of the original floor support, slide this one up in place and weld it all around. Um, weld it up to the floor pan, weld it to the original frame, weld it to that new frame of the front so it gets tied into everything. So that's where we're at today and that's what we're working on. That's what will be next um, Super Bowl today. Um, so I'm taking some time off. We're going to watch the game, um, enjoy the day off. But back on it tomorrow and we'll start cutting out those couple pieces there, get them changed out, get the floor pan in and we'll keep rolling from there. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, we'll be back on it tomorrow. Uh, it's coming along real nice. That's a, the one of the dirty parts of the job doing that floor pan because there's so much stuff buried in the areas like in the frame rails there's mouse nests and just all kinds of stuff and that kind of stuff catches on fire especially if you're using a plasma cutter and then it just smells and dust and rust and that's I think part of the reason why a lot of people don't really want to do this stuff just because how dirty it is and you, you definitely got to wear a mask and different times and always wear eye protection I always wear eye protection I had to get uh, metal removed from my eyes uh, two times, uh, which is not fun. I don't recommend that. Um, so, yeah, always just be careful. There's this this stuff is dirty, and you just gotta watch what you're doing and be aware of what's going on. Um, stuff can go wrong real quick, especially with jagged metal, rusty stuff. How easy it is to cut yourself. Um, but uh, thanks for watching the video. We'll put up another one tomorrow. We'll be back on it and. Um, We'll see you then. Thanks.